my name is Austin Leibel. Welcome to our third video in our series on data flows inside of Azure Data Factory. I work for a company called Pragmatic Works that does training inside of Azure. And today we're going to be looking at more of our use cases for different transformations inside of data flows for making transformations without having to know code. It's a low code, no code environment for changing data, manipulating data, and getting data to look like we want it to for reporting purposes. So today we're going to be looking at a filter transformation inside of a data flow inside of Azure Data Factory. There are other ways we could potentially go through and do a filter with like a potentially like a where clause in SQL, but if you do not know SQL, this is a perfect opportunity to be able to make that transformation inside of this graphical user interface. So let's head over to Azure Data Factory and check out how we can do that inside of that graphical user interface. So I have my data flow up and running. If you want to know how we got to this point inside of the data flow, definitely go check out my other few videos that we have in this series on bringing in a source data set, as well as removing the unnecessary columns with the select transformation that we did in the last video. But now I have my data flow debug on and running so I can go through and view the different changes I have made to my data set. Today though, I'm going to be going through and making a change to my data. I want to do a filter now. I have my columns that I've gone through and selected with my select transformation, but now remember the data that we're working with is movie data, my personal movie rankings. So we have ranked those from one star to five stars, and I actually wanna go through and only view the data that is either a four star movie or a five star movie. So we're going to do a filter transformation inside of our Azure Data Factory to remove any of those movies that are below four stars. So here, this Logan movie, a three stars was my rating. I wanna get rid of any of those results. So let's go into our plus icon right here and we're going to add in a filter transformation. A filter transformation is down inside of the row modifier. So that's the one we're going to select right here. I'm gonna give this a name again, just telling us you know, exactly what we're doing inside of here. So we want to remove movies below four stars, something like that. We could say select only you know, four and five star movies, but this will be what we're doing with this data, right? So we have our incoming stream, which is going to be our select transformation. And then we are going to need to express what we want to do. We are going to go into the expression builder inside of the data flows for Azure Data Factory and write our expression on how we want to actually filter this data. So I'm gonna open the expression builder now. And this expression builder is awesome. We're gonna keep exploring this through this series, but there are so many different transformations we can go through and make with these different functions here. So you can, I'm just scrolling through and you can see there are so many options here. We're gonna explore just one today for our filter transformation. So I'm actually gonna go through and I'm going to use a greater or equals function. And that's going to allow me to basically only select the movies that I want um, from four stars and up. So four stars or five stars will be in my results. So I'm just gonna type the greater or equal and there we have IntelliSense popping up to help us out. IntelliSense is awesome for uh, working inside of data flows. It exists if you're familiar with IntelliSense inside of SQL or with DAX, it exists here as well. So I'm gonna go down and tab over to greater or equal and it tells us we need to go through and pass this expression. We can kind of get our, our helpful tool there as well as what we want to pass through for this expression. So what I'm gonna be doing, I'm going to be uh, doing a filter on my rating. So I'm just gonna come down here to my input schema and select the rating. And then I'm going to say for my second expression, I only wanna see the greater or equal to four. So anything four stars and above for this data set. So greater or equal rating and four, that is what I need for this. Let's go ahead and click save and finish. 
Now, if you look here, I have a little bit of a problem, and I expected that this was actually going to come up. I wanted to kind of show why this is a, a issue. So let me uh, uh, let me talk about this for just a moment here. So what we're looking at right now is we have a filter transformation, right? We are trying to do an expression with a function, and our our error message here at the bottom says that there is an argument one of type string and argument two of type integer. We have to do something to this data type. We currently are working with a string data type and we need to convert that to an integer data type. So what we're going to do, we are going to bring in another transformation. It's a one we didn't maybe expect to need to do at the beginning of the video, but we are going to bring in the cast transformation and we are going to cast our ratings data type from a string data type to an integer data type to allow this to work properly. So let's go head back over to our data factory now and uh, we'll keep working inside of this. All right, so what I'm gonna do now, in between my remove movies below four stars and my remove unnecessary columns, I'm going to add in another transformation. You can add in transformations in the middle of other ones. It doesn't have to be at the end. So I'm gonna come here and I'm going to pull over down to the bottom here to my cast transformation. So I need to select which column I want to change the data type of. So I'm gonna to go to my ratings column. That Remember, that's the column we are doing the filter upon. And I'm going to change the data type to an integer data type. It is currently string. I'm going to change it to integer though. I can come here and potentially specify the format for myself as well. I'm just gonna leave it in this format as you can see here, the, the triple zeros. Okay, now if I go back over to my filter transformation, you can see I don't have that error message anymore. I am good to go. I have, I have solved that problem and I'm ready to go through, check my data preview out and see uh, what the data currently looks like. I'm gonna let this uh, data preview uh, load for a moment here and then we'll come through and we will uh, look at our data results and make sure that everything is good to go. I think this is a perfect time to let you know that again, if you are interested in learning more about data flows, we have some great content on our on-demand learning platform centered around data flows uh, in Azure Data Factory as well as Azure Synapse Analytics. So definitely check that out, uh, go through, and uh, if you like what you see inside of our on-demand learning platform, definitely subscribe to that because there's so much great content available there. Let's go check out our results now. Okay, so I have all of my ratings. Let's come through here and see if I can find any threes. I do not see any down there. So it looks like my filter transformation has gone through successfully and I am uh, returning the results I really want. Just my four and five star movies that I have rated on that movie rating service. All right, this has been just another brief kind of demonstration inside of Azure Data Factory working with data flows. So hopefully you have enjoyed today working with the filter transformation and maybe unexpectedly the cast transformation as well, where we change the data type to allow our filter transformation to work the right way. So I uh, hope you have enjoyed today. And again, I will see you in the next one.